Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to run a Python deep learning program in Google Colab by one click to get a classification result. First, you go to Google and type as Colab, then go to Welcome to Collaboratory Google Research, open it, then it will, it will ask to create a new notebook you just create one new notebook after that we can load your program so open node sorry upload notebook choose file so one click so once you upload it The program will open in the Colab directory. So this is the virtual program. This is already running. So just I'm removing that one. So this is the virtual program. So nothing you can do. You can just go to first go to edit, go to notebook settings. Make sure that you have the GPU as a hardware accelerator then go to save and go to runtime just to run it so initially it's loading it's downloading the data then unzip the data already i i, I unzip the data so i am i am giving it no then everything is okay then come down so i have given the number of epoch 100 so it's going on the training is going on now so i'm getting the training loss and training accuracy and the validation loss as well as validation accuracy so i have given the number of epoch 100 so it's going to 53 54 like that i'm getting the accuracy as 87 percentage validation accuracy so now it's going 76 let's wait what will be the final accuracy so it's going down 85 percentage 98 okay got it finally we'll be getting the graph the training accuracy and the validation accuracy as well as the training loss and the validation loss so first i'll explain the program now so what type of object i classified here means this is the chicken meat so so i have taken the data as database folder inside the database folder i have taken two classes bad and good so bad is the bad chicken meat so this is the sample images so another one is the good so these are the data sets we have taken here so first we are getting the file from the particular website this is our website i already loaded the data in the form of zip zip file already a download database dot zip then after that we are unzipping that one after that we are importing the library commands giving the width and height of the image then once you unzip the data you can see the data here you just click it here then go to here then go to content here the database here the database folder has been loaded here only under the folder of content so you can see it here bad and good so once you get the url after that once you unzip it automatically it's downloaded in the folder of content under the folder of content 
so after that importing library after that we can give the particular path by clicking the copy path you can path you can give the path name here so content and data set like that so this is the training data validation split 200 files i have taken for two classes 160 files for training so this is the validation same thing only 40 files for validation so this is the what are the classes present bad and good so is it is for just displaying the uh, images good add after that i designed a lightweight model just making 532 64 128 number of filters so finally we are providing the number of classes number of classes i have given us two so because good or bad so then i am compiling then checking the model then the number of epoch i have given us 100 then i am just training our model so after training it's providing the training loss and the training accuracy validation loss as well as validation accuracy finally we are plotting the training accuracy and the validation accuracy in the form of plots so finally we are getting the validation accuracy of the system is 85 percentage so this is the program nothing you can change you can directly go to runtime you can just one click in the run all so automatically it is download the data from the website automatically unzipping it automatically storing in it your folder content folder then automatically taking the data for training as well as validation once the model has been compiled checking with the validation data and providing the accuracy for the data finally displaying the validation at the training graph so likewise you can load the data anywhere like your data set uh, your websites or your google drive you can take it you can unzip it and you can load it over there so this is what uh, how to run the program in colab by one click okay and i hope that i understood you understood everything okay if you any doubt you can ask me mm, thank you thanks for watching